BJP General Secretary, we've got Bansuri Swaraj joining us here on 6 p.m. Prime. Bansuri, thank you for joining us on India Today. Let's begin with the question of what Arun Kejriwal has said. He says that he's being targeted, that the summon is illegal, and that all of this controversy and his summon, his arrest, as he claims will happen, is timed to the 2024 elections. In the garb of an arm Admi, Mr. Kejriwal is a very, very khas Admi. And this is nothing but reflective of his VVIP syndrome. Since 2nd November 2023, the ED has been asking him to join the investigation. First, he said that he's busy with election campaigns. In response to the second summon, he said that he is busy with a meditation workshop. And in the third, in response to the third summon, he has sent a very, very audacious response saying, I'm not going to join the investigation. You send me a questionnaire. I would like to tell Mr. K. Jival, the Honorable CM, that he's not above the law. The law sure. of the land is applicable to a common man as well as a chief minister alike. No common man would have sent this kind of an audacious response to the ED saying, I'm not going to join the investigation. Mm. You send me a questionnaire. Section 50, subsection 3 of the PMLA makes it mandatory on someone who has been summoned that they must present themselves and honor the summons sent by the ED. The ED is an independent investigative agency. This is not a politically motivated move. Mr. No, Kejriwal is being summoned by the investigating agencies again and again because the courts of this land have found that investigating agencies have established a prima facie case against the leaders of the Ahmad sure. party in the liquor scam. And that is why Mr. Manish Sisodia's bail has been rejected by the courts of this okay. country seven times. On 13th December 2023, Mr. Manish Sisodia's review petition was also rejected by the Honorable Supreme Court of India. But I must say, it, it, it almost appears as if Mr. Kejriwal has become a very inconsiderate leader. It doesn't matter to him that his fellow leaders are in jail. It doesn't matter to him that Mr. Manish Sisodia's bail has been rejected. It doesn't matter to him that Mr. Sanjay Singh is in jail and his bail has also no, been rejected. It appears as, as long as Mr. Kejriwal is outside and very cozy, let's... he is going to do a U-turn and he is not even going to join the investigative process. Let's let's keep that aside. You mentioned law of the land and often the allegation, not just from the Ahmadbi party, but from every opposition party, is that the law of the land seems to apply only for some political parties. Uh, you know, as far as chief ministers are targeted, it's only non-BJP CMs. Look at Arvind K. Jival in this case. Hemant Soren, who I'm not, if I'm not wrong, has received seven plus summons from agencies. Are non-BJP CMs, are non-BJP leaders the only targets of agencies? I don't think that's a fair assessment at all. Mr. Kejriwal has been summoned because in the liquor scam there has been ample investigation. If you're forgetting that the Honorable High Court of Delhi has found that there have been 9,200 crore worth of kickbacks which were actually transferred from the chosen liquor barons of the Aam Admi Party to the leaders of Aam Admi Party. The ED summons, whether it's to Mr. Kejriwal or to any other leader of the country, but is a that... consequence of the investigation. Sure, it has no, nothing so... to do with the BJP. Those cases, yes, Bhansuri, do exist against leaders, and you're right that bail hasn't been granted to them. But does that directly link them to Arvind Kejriwal? There's no money trail per se that links Arvind Kejriwal to the entire case. It's like assuming that if a BJP leader is linked to a scam, the trail directly goes up to JP Nadda. See, as far as where is the name of the of Mr. Kejriwal in this particular scam, are you telling me that a scam worth crores was done without the consent, the knowledge and the, the nod from Mr. Kejriwal, who is not only the CM of Delhi, but also the convener of the Aam Admi Party? 
Also, please remember right now, the case is in the realm of investigation. The investigating agencies are asking him to join the investigating process. In fact, on, uh, I believe on 24th of November 2012, mm. Mr. Kejriwal posted a tweet on social media platform where he says that he feels ashamed when a leader is summoned again and again by CBI and ED and those summons are not honored. I want to ask Mr. Kejriwal, okay. is this morality only for other leaders or will he sort you of pass in this kind of morality on himself as I'm well? My, my final question to you, Bhansari Swaraj, is that on one hand, you've got Arvind Kejriwal saying that, look, this is all time to the looks by elections. Your party is going after Kejriwal, but as a result of this with months to go for the elections, are you making a political martyr out of Mr. Kejriwal? Not at all. We don't need to. First of all, the timing of this particular summon has been orchestrated by Mr. Kejriwal himself. As I said, on 2nd of November 2023, mm -hmm. that is when he was first summoned by the ED. But he said that he was busy with election campaigns. The second summon, when it was sent, this was after the elections. There was no election around the corner. The Vidhan Sabha Chunav were already over. And Mr. Kejriwal made a very flimsical excuse of going for a 10-day medal meditation vipassana workshop so mr kejriwal is dishonoring these summons he is in con consistent violation of section 50 subsection 3 of the pmla which actually makes it mandatory to answer these summons because mr kejriwal wants to create a situation where okay. he can play the victim card he wants that the investigating agencies should actually come knocking on his door and that is why his ministers whether it is atishi or it is his minister, Honorable Mr. Saurabh Bharadwaji, they keep on prophesizing raids on Mr. Kejriwal and keep on prophesizing okay. uh, these arrests of Mr. Kejriwal, not realizing that whether Mr. Kejriwal will be raided or not, whether ED is going to come uh, knocking at his door or not, is completely first done in secrety and secondly, it is completely in the realm of the investigating agents. Sure. Regarding making a political martyr out of him, let us see the recent Vidhan Sabha elections. Because of the politics of development of our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, the BJP had a landslide victory across states. On the other hand, the Aam Aadmi Party contested on over 200 seats. And but they were not able to win even a single one. In fact, if you see in terms of percentages, then the people of these states preferred NOTA over the candidates of the Aam Aadmi Party. Okay. And that is why, as I said, the BJP is neither afraid of the Aam Aadmi Party, nor does the BJP actually need to indulge in any other kind of practice. Okay. We are only and only indulging in All the right. politics of development. If anyone is scuttling away or is afraid, then mm -hmm. it is Mr. Kejriwal who is scuttling away from the investigative process. All right. We leave it at that. Bansuri Swaraj, thank you very much for joining us here on India Today.